Hello everyone, my name is Shadat Patwari and welcome to the very first of my Flash tutorial. If you've looked through other various so training sources or through other YouTube videos but couldn't find exactly what you're looking for, well you've come to the right place. I'll be showing you through a series of videos going from the very basic of Flash to a point where hopefully you'll be able to make your own video containing animation, frame by frame, tweening, adding your own sound and even a main menu with a loading bar so you could add it to a website like Newgrounds. So with all that in mind, why don't we buckle up and get started. Okay guys, um, so to begin with, uh, whenever you open the program, you'll see a menu like this. Currently I'm using Flash version um, CS5. I believe it's the newest version now in 2011. Um, you can get started by clicking here on the latest action script, which is 3.0. Or if you'd like, you could click on animation as well to get started. I'll just uh, go ahead and click on action script 3.0 for now. So the difference between that and animation, which I mentioned earlier, is basically at the top. This is the uh, setup for how the, uh, the screen will be located. If I click on animator, you get a setup like this, which makes it easier if you're animating. Um, but I could stick with classic, it's pretty much the same thing. So as you can see here at the top, it's the uh, basic timeline. Uh, these numbers here, they represent the frames, the amount of frames. And uh, this number right here, which is currently at 24 frames per second, which is a standard frame rate, uh, represents how fast this will move. For example, if it's 24 frames per second, each 24 rep will represent one second. So if I click, uh, if I make a movie 120 uh, frames long, let's say, and if it's 24 is a second, and if I press enter, as it reaches 120, it's approximately five seconds. Um, it's important to to set this up initially. Uh, if you don't want to make too much work for an animation, for example. Um, you could go with 12 frames per second. If you want to make something smoother, I would recommend going for 30 frames per second. However, your file size will definitely be bigger. Um, on the left side here is all the tools. This is the mouse pointer, for example. Uh, here is the line tool. Here is the drawing tool, much like any other software you would use. Um, on the right side here is the properties. Uh, for example, for now I've got the line pencil tool actually selected. Uh, so here the stroke you could adjust that if I want it thicker I could go for 31 and if I want it slimmer I could go for for that so moving on I could close my current menu by clicking here without saving it and it will bring you back here if I wanted to go back in I would just click action script after you're done working on something you would save from the top menus here file save like any other program once you're done and uh, you're ready to see your work and export it, you go to export and export movie, which I'll get into a bit later. All right, so this will complete the uh, the first basic steps of uh, just getting used to the Flash interface. Okay, so in this step of the tutorial, I'll show you how to work with layers, which are basically one of the most important thing in keeping yourself organized, especially when animating in a software like Flash. What layers are basically are where the images will be in terms of the different dimensions. For example, at the beginning you would start off with one layer and by default will be called layer 1. To create a new layer, you simply have to click on this button right here, will be called layer 2. And as I mentioned, the difference is where whatever you draw in the frame of layer 1, will show off at the bottom of whatever picture is on layer 2. To give you an example of that, if I click on the box and I create a simple object right here and then as mentioned go on layer 2 and I create a different box. As you can see the box of layer 2 which is at the top of the column here is at the bottom, sorry, is at the top of whatever object is in layer 1. As well you could actually uh, move these layers around. So if I move layer 2 under layer 1 it is now at the bottom of that. 
so as you can understand that basically what it means if I were to create one more and make another box once again is at the top of the very two layers you could also bring it at the middle thus making it accordingly in terms of dimensions uh, to give an example of why layers are important especially when you're creating a whole image of a video um, you could begin by naming the layers so at the very bottom would be uh, usually the background layer I was able to rename this by clicking twice on the name um, so at the top of the background layer is the midground layer and finally at the very top is usually the foreground if I were to draw a background for now let's just draw a quick one of a of a sun here and then with the uh, quick ocean view and then if you were to have the land right here okay so let's just say this is your background for now and then it's important to log the layers whenever you're not drawing in them you have the lock column right here, you just click that button let's go on the foreground and draw something in the middle uh, for example uh, if you were to draw a tree here so as you can see it's actually on top of whatever is in the background as mentioned er earlier So we've got ourselves a nice tree and then let's once again lock that, go on the foreground and draw something that would catch our eye because it's on the foreground, uh, let's just say in this case a person. let's give him a white shirt and there we go see as you can see these are properly stacked on top of each other you have the foreground where it belongs and below the foreground you've got your midground let's just unlock these you've got the midground and below the midground you've got the background and now accordingly you could let's say if you were to animate you could just move the background and if you wanted to only animate the midground you may do so as well and then the same case goes for the foreground it just keeps everything organized I hope this helped and uh, next step will be uh, basically going a bit more into how to use the tools right here